before I start this video, I need to clarify that this how-to video is a uh, unfinished project from last year. Um, I did the first part, and you could probably tell in my voice, I, I, I didn't really have it in me to keep going. So I completed the project and never finished the video. So here is the first part of the video, and of course I'm going to finish it now. So I apologize for that. Hey guys, we're going to be talking about one thing on this car that is really silly. Let me start it. The uh, tire pressure monitoring light. Newer cars, you got a little screen, tells you which uh, which sensor is having an issue. If this car has an issue, that thing just blinks and blinks and blinks and then goes solid and you have to guess which uh, which one to, which one it is. How would you like to know a way where you could turn that thing off in approximately one minute? And all you have to do is we use one of these little resistors. Here's how you do it. So, when people do this mod, um, they mostly remove the panel under here, but uh, that makes life a little bit harder for you because you have to look up. So if you just take this out of here, and there's these two little things here. So if you just squeeze, okay, that one's out. There you go. It just drops right out. Now, there's supposed to be something, a gray box, sitting right here, bolted here. Which is this thing. The computer tire pressure monitor. There's, there's the bracket. So it would be sitting up there in that hole right there. So just undo the bolt and pop it off but what matters is this I mean the location of the 3.3 ohm resistor if I can get it to focus it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna pause right here and put a close-up photo and a uh, the schematic for the wiring. Okay, and so when it comes to Toyotas and whatnot that has this particular box, if you want to do this, you have to uh, don't worry about location of pins, worry about color of wires because that's about all it is, because the 2005, 2006, 2007 RAV4 has a different connector, and then after 08, it has a different connector again, so the difference is colors, I'm like, the colors are the same. You want the pink wire, which is the wire that goes to the, de which goes to the cluster, that turns the light on, and the blue wire for the ignition, which is the power. You connect those two together with this resistor, That annoying little light will never come on ever again, as I will show now. We got the car back together. Now we put the thing in. My mileage is going to be a little bit different. It's been ex almost it's been over a year since I did it, and still no blinky light at all. So what does that mean in terms of the future? Well, for the past year, I've been just checking the uh, um, tire pressures by every season, I guess, on the transition from spring to summer, and then from summer to fall, and just overall looking. You know, you could go further than that. You can get those little um, 
electric ones that go on to your um, they replace your uh, valve stem covers and then have something on your phone or whatever to tell you for those cars that have this the little blinky light uh, just deactivate it you don't need it I'm like and then it also saves you money when you want to change your tires and whatnot because when you want you want to put want to put uh, aftermarket wheels on you don't have to put tire pressure monitoring valve stems in the wheels you can just have regular old valve stems that ends up saving you money too because those thing th those those little those little computer things that have batteries in them that only last 10 years they were the, the they're a lot of money depending on where you go and those little rubber ones that you put in regular wheels what are they like five bucks so this video has been a unfortunate year in the making but this is a for hatchery signing off